Shalom. Gonna start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim Rechakwadash. Dev wants to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to all the fellow laborers of the hopeful elect tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And um, I want to do a, a lesson responding to this video clip. This was actually sent to me. I thought it was a you know a pretty heavy video, even though it was only a very short uh, clip. It's only about 14 seconds uh, long. But um, you know what you're gonna see is uh what the scriptures confirm that you know when we depart from out of these bodies of death, your spirit goes directly straight to the Father. All right, and um. That's pretty much the cycle of life. You know, that's pretty much the sentence overall flesh. You know, when we leave from here, we go upward. We go straight back to the Father. We go back to the original source. And it was amazing how this uh, footage captured an individual, you know, who was uh, on his way out. You know, he was pretty much dying. And they, you know, took him into a life flight helicopter. And, uh, it was too late because the individual ended up giving up the ghost as the 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 helicopter was um you know taken off and you're gonna literally get to see his spirit you know leave above the uh the helicopter and go upward so let's uh let, let's let's play this real quick Let me let me let me uh replay it. I might have to play it. Um, I might have to uh, reduce the speed, slow it down. Now let's watch it again. I know y'all saw that. That that person, whoever was in that helicopter, man, he pretty much transitioned right there in that moment as they was lifting off. All right, spirit went straight, straight up, straight up above, man. I thought that was pretty heavy, you know. And I was like, you know what? Let me uh, do a, a a video on it. And you already know, you know, plenty of scriptures come to mind. Uh, the first one I want to go to. I want to get this one in the Apocrypha. You know, dealing with the cycle of death. Because you really, you know, if you're in this thing and you have the understanding, then you should be comforted to understand the process of death. You, know, you wouldn't be afraid at all, you know, to, to go. This is uh, Sirach 41 and 2. It says, O death, acceptable is thy sentence unto the needy and unto him whose strength faileth. All right, you know, especially somebody that's uh, you know, they gotten old, they up in age, you know, that's uh, when you put way past your prime. Um, when you go to Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter, we always usually go to it. It tells you to um, you know, basically uh, don't forget about the Lord in your youth. Ecclesiastes twelve and one. Remember now that the Creator in the days of your youth. Right, while you, while you still have your strength, Ecclesiastes twelve and one it says, "Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain." All right, and this is really talking about when you get up in age. You know, you start to, you know, it start to become very uh, troublesome for you when you're up in age. You know, those those final years, you know, draw closer, and uh, you you pretty much, <clears throat> you know, you're not enjoying your life, and you basically you're ready to go. A lot of old people, they probably won't tell you that, but they're ready to 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 release. 
because it's, it's definitely hell being in the flesh, especially when your your strength uh, diminishes. Let's get uh in the uh the other translation. Let's read NLT. It says, "Don't let the excitement of youth cause you to forget your Creator. Honor Him in your youth before you grow old and say life is not pleasant anymore." NIV, remember your creator in the days of your youth before the days of trouble come and the years approach when you will say, I find no pleasure in them. No. It's talking about when you get older. Okay. But we also apply it to, you know, the times that we're coming into now. You know, the scriptures say, you know, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Because you know, we're definitely coming into uh, the days of evil. Adversity is definitely uh, approaching Jacob's trouble. So while you have the strength to seek him, you know, 10 times more, you know, seeking with all thy might, with all thy soul. Boy, hey, you know, this is that time, man. So let's go back to uh, Sirach 41, and let's finish the verse. It says, Unto him whose strength faileth, that is now in the last age, and is vexed with all things, and to him that despaireth and have lost patience. Fear not the sins of death, for remember them that have been before thee, and that come after, for this is the sins of the Lord over all flesh. Alright? So, I mean, that's just what it is. Alright, as long as we in the flesh, you know, there is a due date. Now, Lord willing, you know, those of us that are alive now, you know, some of us be preserved, you know, to the day of uh, the Lord, you know, to be delivered. Because not all of the elect are going to die. It's going to be a lot that's going to uh, make it. But you're going to have those that's also going to die in the Lord. They're going to die in Yahweh Shai. And what do the scriptures say about that? They're going to be raised first. They're going to be caught up into the cloud after the, uh, the changing in the twinkling of an eye. And then those that are alive and remaining, they're going to get caught up into the cloud and they're going to be with, you know, it's going to be, you know, uh, a reunion, so to speak. You don't get to see brothers that's, that's passed on in, in this work. All right. And we are going to be changed. So it don't matter whether you do live and get to see, you know, the salvation and be a, a partaker of that salvation or whether you die in the Lord. You're still going to uh, be partaker of the salvation. You know, really, if you if you die in the Lord, you know, that's pretty much, uh, you know, <laughs> you, that's that's kind of like a, a, a head start, you know. So anyway. Let's go to um, Ecclesiastes 8. Because when it's your time to go and when it's, when it's, you know, time for you to release. You know, you have no control or power over that. That the Heavenly Father unto him belong the issues from death. So this is Ecclesiastes 8 and 8. It says, There is there is no man that have the power over the spirit to retain the spirit. You know, you got uh you know these these uh dudes who get heavy into that shamanism and you know uh that African shaman culture where they try to you know, astral project, and they claim that they can control, you know, their spirit, you know, leaving their body. You can't control the spirit that's in your body. The Heavenly Father controls the spirit that's in your body, man. All right, you don't even, and, and I remember we had an encounter with a dude at camp. I think he was from Zimbabwe or something like that, but he was talking about uh, astral projection and how he can, he knows how to levitate his spirit above his body and it's a certain way you breathe to do it i'm like bro because he was trying to be super ultra deep you know trying to come against uh the scriptures and uh i said dude you don't even you're not even breathing your own breath man <laughs> you know this the the, the 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 breath that we breathe is not even ours man what the hell are you talking about all right our life is as a vapor like it says in James, the, uh, the fourth chapter, man, you hear and then poof, you're gone. All right. We're just spirits in 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 an in, in, in inner body experience. That's all we are. 
uh, we're angels in literally in the flesh. It says, neither have he power in the day of death, and there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. Let me see what the other translations say on it. In LT, it says, none of us can hold back our spirit from departing. None of us have the power to prevent the day of our death. There is no escape in that obligation, that dark battle. And in the face of death, wickedness will certainly not rescue the wicked. You know, hey, the, uh, the wages of uh, sin is death. You know, you did a lot of wickedness, it's definitely going to come back on you. There's no way that you can plead for your life when you've done all type of dirt. All right. And you can prolong your days and your wickedness, but just know that you still have a due date. It's going to be waiting on you. It says, uh, NIV, it says, and no one has power over the wind to contain it. So no one has power over the time of their death. And no one is discharged in time of war. So wickedness will not release those who practice it. All right, so let's go from there. Because where do the spirit go? Let's go to Ecclesiastes 3. We'll start at verse 20. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 20, it says, All go into one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to the dust again. And that's talking about your flesh, your body. Your body is made up of the earth. And, you know, once your spirit leaves, it goes right back to where it uh, came from. All right, because Adam, what he was formed of, of the dust of the ground. That's that's why his name is called Adam, Adama, which means from the ground. And then you go back into the ground and you decompose and, and replenish the earth. Verse 21, it says, who know of the spirit of man, you know, is a separation that goeth upward in the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth. So, you know, do all dogs go to heaven? No, dogs don't go to heaven. <laughs> you know, the spirits of animals don't go up there. They go to down into the earth. But our spirits go back to the, to the spiritual realm. Or the third heaven. Or the heaven of heavens. Okay? And you just saw evidence of that in this, in this clip right here. All right, where was this spirit going? Was it going upward or, or down into the earth? It, went, it was going upward. As that helicopter was lifting off, he, he, you knew he was going right there when you saw that little vapor of, of his soul or spirit, you know, going up above. All right. Let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. And these are just precepts, you know, that's just, you know, off the top. I didn't have no, no lesson written up. I just want to, uh, you know bring these scriptures out, you know, bring it to life. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, it says, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return to the Most High who gave it. And if anybody says anything otherwise, st you know, stay away from that person, man. Don't listen to him. Don't follow him. All right, hey, like, for example, that dude wrapped the news. You know, I don't want to have to keep bringing him up, you know, because he's passed on, but where you think he went? His spirit went right back, it went upward, and it went right back to the Father. And now he's witnessing the throne of the Father, and he's also witnessing Yahweh Shai sit on his right hand in his glory. And he's ashamed and, and confounded and humbled. And some of his followers take that as a diss, like a, as if I'm mocking or disrespecting them but for saying that. But it's, the, but it's the truth. I'm not mocking or disrespecting them. That's the truth. And if he can come down, if, if the Lord gave him permission to come down for j just a minute, he'll tell y'all what we're saying is, 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 is the truth. When he was down here, he was bugging out his mind, teach, teaching you that when you die, your spirit goes to the, to the, <laughs> it goes to the sun or some, some bugged out shit. And there's a planet where you, you know, where you, where the wicked souls go to burn forever. It was just way out crazy shit, man. But that, you know, all that madness that he put in your mind while he was here on the earth, all that got uh, cleared out. 
his conscience got cleared out when he returned back to the father and now he's in his right mind but he he, he left y'all totally bugged out and deceived down here man you only go straight to the spiritual realm after 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 death all right and uh let me get uh one more let me get the one in uh the second corinthians yep second corinthians uh 12 this is uh, apostle paul when he had his uh, astral proje uh, astral projection experience where really he his spirit left his body and he went to the spiritual realm for a bit right second uh second corinthians 12 and 1 it says it is not expedient for me doubtless to glory i will come to visions and revelations of the lord i knew a man in a mashiach above 14 years ago whether in the body i cannot tell or whether out of the body i cannot tell the most i know of. such an one caught up to the third heaven all right spirit went up went upward the third heaven man and i knew such a man whether in the body or out of the body i cannot tell the most i know of how that he was caught up into paradise all right and what did yahweh shai tell that uh malefactor on his right when it was when they were uh all on the cross because the dude believed you know because you know the dude that moment you know he came to a senses man he he knew that you know he was worthy of death but yahweh shai wasn't worthy of death but here it is he's getting you know numbered among the transgressors and um you know he's he's getting put to death right along with them so the the, the male factor told yahweh shai hey you know but will you remember me in, in in the kingdom and the lord said hey you know this day this, you know this night you be with me in in uh in paradise man so basically he was telling them that uh you know hey we're gonna go to the spiritual realm and then also that same dude you know because he confessed that last moment he was he was made uh it, that confession was unto salvation for himself so he's you know you know once he went to the spirit world you know he he was uh sealed you know so you know he came back in the regeneration and and, and more than likely follows uh yahweh shai and he's gonna be in the kingdom so it says uh and heard unspeakable words which is not lawful for a man to utter all right it was so uh you know marvelous in the spiritual realm that he he have he had no words to to even express you know what he saw like he would basically be doing the spiritual realm a disservice if he tried to explain you know what you know what he was uh witnessing you know so anyway you know that that was pretty much uh the lesson man i just want to uh respond to that you know i thought that was uh heavy you know that that was captured to actually see an actual soul or, or spirit of a man to to you know go up like that you know so that's why we don't fear death we know you know exactly where you're going to go you know once uh this this flesh expires all right so anyway you know i hope that this lesson was edifying and give all praise glory and honor to you and to uh the next lesson a hey, shalom shalom